Okay, so we are here in Panazovia South. I just changed it into my water camel. Uh, if you haven't already, uh, go ahead and do that. I'm gonna clear out some room in my backpack, get rid of all this rotten food so we have room for fresh new food. Of that, get rid of that. Yeah, that too, I guess. And make sure you use your suppressor in this area if you're gonna fire your gun. Like, say, to get some of these fish, like I am. Just cause there are those flying platforms above. Uh, flying around this area. And they will hear your gun if you use it without your suppressor, so keep that in mind. Um, right there on... Ooh, hold on here. Arowana. Fish. Okay, right there, uh, as you can see, is the keraton for this area. Pretty e hard to m miss this one. Pretty easy to spot. So, in terms of how we're going to get through this, this area, without being spotted, there's a few things you can do. Um, you can kind of swim into these alcoves, and then wait for the spotlight to pass by from the floating platform, and then go ahead and swim out, head into, head into the next area, uh, or rather, go further down the stream. That's kind of what you're supposed to do. That's what they expect you to do throughout this area. However, if you are well enough camouflaged, like if you've got at least, you know, 49%, let's say, you can actually just swim right under those, uh, those spotlights. And if they, if they think they see you, just keep swimming. By the time they going for a closer look, you'll, you'll already be long gone, so. We're supposed to go north to head to our actual objective, but if we take the left path here, there's some stuff we can get. Alright. So, in this area, there's a few things we can pick up. Start off by actually if we hug the left wall and swim over here, there's a suppressor for the M1911. <laughs> and let me Frank these guys. They should go down shortly here, so Just my we'll wait for that to happen. Just my imagination. Some frogs and things swimming around in front of us. Let's head over and climb up on that dock. Er, no, not underneath the dock. Climb up on top of the dock. Ah, man. There we go. Alright, so... Got some ammo for both the 1911 and the Mark 22 there. White phosphorus grenades. Stun grenades. And if we head back here, into this corner, there's a suppressor for our Mark 22. Very nice. 
You want to be sure to get that. That'll definitely be coming in handy. In here is a Dragono sniper rifle, SVD. I want to get that too. And now, there's one more thing. If we drop down here, we can see inside this little uh, sewer pipe, a little pipe here, is the carrot haunt for this area. Alright, let's get out of here and head <coughs> north to the end of the aqueduct. The NVG is actually helping this area, because it is pretty dark, admittedly. Now, there's kind of a secret thing you can do if you pull out your SVD before heading north into this area. I'll show you what it is. So you want to make sure you have your SVD equipped. Let me take off the uh, torch and equip the SVD. Yeah, this should be fine. Let's head north into Ponazovia Warehouse Exterior and prepare ourselves for a cutscene. Get your hands off me. I'm not going anywhere. Really now? How many times must I tell you? Time you resist, your lover will suffer the consequences. Is that clear? Vulcan. <clears throat> Damn you. Hold it right there, traitor. Let's find out just how lucky you are. Watch closely. guns has a single bullet in it. I'm going to pull the trigger six times in a row. Are you ready? Uh.
There's no such thing as luck on the battlefield. <laughs> You'd better stay in line from now on. The Cobras will take care of him. <sighs> Has the CIA dog been disposed of yet? The pain is dead. What? Definitely one of yours. I fear Khrushchev may have a hand in this. We have no time to lose. You must eliminate him before the final test. Don't worry. They'll be able to handle it. I'm leaving him to you, the fear. The old man is always sleeping. Is he all right? The end is saving what life he has left in him for battle. Normally, he's dead. But he'll wake up when the time is right. And when he does, it will be the end for the boy. Sokolov isn't worth your love. You can entertain me until the rain stops. Kuwabara, Kuwabara. Uh. Sorrow, is that you? Okay, so right off the bat, if you walk down the hill a little ways and pull out your sniper rifle, <coughs> scope in. You can actually see the end being wheeled away, right there, by that guard. If you're good enough, you can just go ahead and shoot that old man in the skull a few times, and all your problems will be over. Um, now, nah, basically, he is one of the Cobras, so he'll be a boss later in the game. Unless you want to take him out right now. You can take him out before they wheel him off. Uh... In which case, you will not have to fight him later on the game. However, if you're playing along with this guide, I would suggest you actually do go ahead and fight him. He is probably one of the most unique bosses in all of video game history, and it's also a chance to get a lot of really cool, nice items out of it. So, I will definitely, I will definitely be showing the fight. Anyway, let's go ahead and um, let's see here. I'm gonna go ahead and take out these guards. Take out my Mark 22. If 
throw on my thermal go goggles. Thermal goggles. And dang it. Step back a little ways. Dang it. There we go. Got him. Got oh, shoot, I missed. Alright, so they've dispatched the search team to come and find us. Um, you know what? I got an idea. I think I'm gonna show something while I wait for the caution counter to run down. Go ahead and swim over to the left. SVD rounds, but more importantly, on top of that little <coughs> pillar right there is the Keraton for this area. Alright, I'm gonna wait for the caution to wear off, and I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright, so let me try this again. One, two, just my imagination. Just my imagination. Three. Maybe. Couldn't tell if I got him. I don't think I did. There we go. Second. That third guard there should go down any second. Okay. We're clear. Let's go ahead and approach the docks. There's some supplies and whatnot underneath them. I'm really curious who as to who's just chucking bullets into the, into the water everywhere. So, stun grenades, Mark 22 rounds, AK-47 bullets. Now, let's... Let me check this guard and see if he has anything on him worth taking. Uh, what you got? Nope. Nothing I need. What about you? I could toss him into the water and have him drown, but I think that would count as a kill. Let's head inside the warehouse. Alright, so I hope you remembered to pick up the splitter camo, because that's the best camel for urban areas like this. Gonna go ahead and put that on. Oh, there it is. Right. <coughs> and of course the splitter face paint as well. There we go. It'll bring your camel gauge up to 70% when you're not moving. There's some medical supplies over here. Antidote and some serum. <clears throat> Shoot. There's nobody here. All right. Let's Go ahead and get back there. Uh, 
a uh, little tip, you know, notice his speed when heading up or down stairs is slower. If you wear a cardboard box when doing so, uh, he actually maintains the same speed as if he was running across flat ground. So there's one guard down. So what Volgan was saying when it starts raining, um, Kuwabara, Kuwabara, that's actually, um, uh, kind of comes from a Japanese, I, I don't know, I call it, really like call it a tradition, but, um, basically it's held that if you say that twice, when it's like raining or there's lightning, um, it it's, translates to good luck. It uh, helps ensure you won't be struck by lightning. And Volgan, being the electric attracting man he is, uh, I guess that's a good thing for him to do. So that's what that was about. Okay, we've taken out the three guards here. Guards. With some bandages. Back here, there's desert face paint. Um, you want to go ahead and get that. Check and see if this guard has anything useful on him. Uh, doesn't look like it. Not really. What do you got? Anything? March 22 rounds. Nice, I'll take those. There's a crab. There's some more medical supplies, and if we flip over that railing and drop on top of those boxes there, there's another Mark 22 suppressor. Nice. Heading this door to our left after we shake this guy down. Ooh, another Mark 22 suppressor. Nice. And inside here is some food and a mouse trap. Real quick, I forgot to show something. I forgot to show something. Um, the Keraton for this area, if you head back into this corner, use the sniper rifle, look up, it's on that support beam right there. Alright, so... Out here, there's... We've left the warehouse, and we're in a forest. Back at the forest. Let's go ahead and jump down here. Now, this area of the forest is filled with traps. I recommend turning on your thermal goggles as they'll help locate those, and there's a poison dart frog right there. Come here. Come here. I want you. I want you, poisonous frog. Fine, whatever. Um, yeah, this forest is filled with traps, like that rope right there. Um, these goggles will, the night thermal goggles, will help make those traps a lot more apparent, so. Good to have these on throughout here. There's a book right there. Book in quotations. That is actually a porno magazine. Um, like in previous Metal Gear games, can be used to distract guards. You want to go ahead and put that down in front of the guards. 
Then I'll notice it. Start reading it. Um. Get a snake right there. You know what? Ha! I have you now. Alright. I'm actually gonna grab another one. Uh, you you can throw these poisonous things at uh, guards, and they'll actually do damage to them. The same goes for poisonous snakes, so with them it's best to capture alive. Pitfall trap right there, don't fall into that. There's some life meds. Nothing over here. Eastern European rabbit right there. She is missing. There's a dead scientist up there in that tree. I'm not quite sure why he's there. What was he doing? Maybe he was trying to escape? Got caught up in one of those traps. That seems likely. There's some Yabloka Malokos up there. Uh, I just walked through that rope and set off that trap. Had an arrow shot at me. Right there, there's a Japanese flying squirrel. Go ahead and pick that up. But even if you do set off one of the traps, just keep moving. You can dodge them pretty easily, no real threat. Uh, let's see here. Up there, there's another snake. I think that's a green tree python, maybe? That would make sense to me, seeing as it's in a tree. Let me eat something, I'm getting pretty hungry anyway. Squirrel! Not so great. Hmm. Thought it would be better than that. I'm not sure what kind of idiot would fall for a mushroom in a trap like that. Not even that appetizing. Oh. Okay, uh, you can go ahead and cut yourself down with triangle if you get caught in one of the snare traps. Now, real quick, the keraton in this area is if you climb up near the exit of this area and look on that tree branch, it's right there. <laughs> 